is Jason Cree on this Salon Care Life. And today I'm gonna to be applying Spectacle Flow to part of my yard. I'm gonna spray uh, the larger portion of my front yard, but I'm not gonna spray the other side of the driveway here. And uh, I'm partnering with Bayer and they've supplied me with uh, the, the Spectacle Flow that we're gonna be using today for this application. Now I've also mixed with it Metzofuron and Simazine and surfactant and just want to see the results. The time of this application is late September. I'm in Alabama and you know hopefully with this application going to get some good results on keeping out full annual and other cool season weeds. Some maybe not germinated yet. Others probably already have germinated and uh, but hopefully this combination of products is going to be able to knock it out. Now spectacle I'm using six and a half ounces per acre today on this application. You know there's different programs you can go with that I talked with a, a Bayer rep recently and he was telling me about you know you can go six and a half ounces one time or eight ounces even up to ten ounces on one application or you can go two applications at four and a half ounces each or you can go three applications at three ounces each so uh, it's a flexible product and there's you know different ways you can use it but for this application I'm just going six and a half on, on this my own lawn and we'll see compare what I spray with what I don't spray so it's gonna, this video while I'm, I'm filming this part in September, video uh, probably won't be concluded until next February or so when I have time to come back and look at the results. So I'm gonna film spraying some and, uh, and we'll look, go back and check with the results. This is the main area of our front yard we're gonna spray today. And then this area on the other side, this gravel drive is what is not going to be sprayed. You know, I'm putting out spectacle and some of you may say well is that not enough can you not just use spectacle well the reason i put the other products in there i'm using mental fear on i'm using simazine the you know when you put out spectacle it has some reach back ability on, on poa and you know so if you got some baby poa hopefully it'll be able to reach back and knock that out but when you combine simazine with it, it it's going to increase that ability and not just pole, but other weeds as well. So, and the Metzofuron, there might be some dandelions, there may be some warm season weeds still out here, or some cool season weeds that's already germinating. I know for a fact that we've already had cool season weeds germinating in our area. So, you know, this combination of products will be able to help with weeds that has not germinated yet and some that already have. All right, so we got the application down, and now, like I said, we'll check back several months later and, and conclude the video after we're able to see the results. So this is gonna probably be, in my YouTube history, the longest span video that I've ever done. Started the video in September and probably finished it sometime in February, so we'll see how that goes. I wanna show you some of the results that we got from the area of the lawn that was treated with spectacle flow and then show you the area that was not treated and show you the difference. Now, uh, it was my first time to apply a pre-emergent on this lawn with a ride-on spreader sprayer, so I was happy to see the results with that. I typically use a, a big tank sprayer with a hose and a, a gun and do it that way, but uh, I wanna show you the front yard. Now, let me just say, I'm about to give you fair warning. My yard has had a septic system put in and they ran a skid steer all over it and tore up half the grass. But there's still plenty of grass where I can show you the results and then just talk to you about what I see. Let's get started. So let's go ahead with the shock and all and show you the part that they tore up and they just ripped my yard to pieces here and I'm gonna get them to grade it out and fix all that. But besides that, the actual turf that's still here, I don't know what to show you other than if we walk around the lawn, you're gonna virtually find no weeds. I'm not saying if you walk and walk and walk, we might not find a, a, a weed at some point, but I'm just gonna walk for a little while and let you see that this yard is clean. No poa, no hen bit, no dandelions. You know, just a just great clean Bermuda yard, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now, as you get over here to the hillside, where it didn't spray on the hill, what do you see? 
pretty obvious that you got, you got a lot of weeds. Now, I want to show you the other side of the yard where it didn't spray as well. You can, you're going to see the results and basically what, what you're trying to get when you apply a pre-emergent and why, you know, basically I, I use Spectacle in my business. But as you come over here, you're going to start to see that you, that you got a, a significant amount of weeds, including the one that is really our arch nemesis in this time of year, and that's POA annual, P-O-A-A-N-N-U-A. -N -N and I'm trying to prevent it because once it's in the yard, I'll show you more of it. You can see this is what happened. So there was no pre-emergent applied over here in the fall, and you just get lots of POA. Uh, and some yards are going to be way worse than this, especially if you got like thin Bermuda grass. But you see all that green? That's not the the Bermuda grass turning green. That's just all poa. So you know, it's not, it's not like there's no solutions for poa. You even got some ryegrass clumps popping up. See there, ryegrass, ryegrass. Here's more poa. That's purple dead nettle there. So you've got weeds in the lawn and some yards are gonna end up way worse than this with, with much more, but you can see all the green there in the yard. And the problem is once you get the weeds in the yard, there are solutions for them. You can, there's products that can get rid of ryegrass, get rid of the broadleaf weeds, get rid of the poa, but it's, it's very uh, difficult thing to do sometimes. Or not difficult, it just, it takes a while. It's slow, the weather's cold. Uh, and it's better just to have them have a nice clean yard, not have to worry about it. So now you gotta come back in and, and use a, a post-emergent to get rid of the weeds. Now, if you, you've got that, let's say that you did a, a pre-emergent and you still had a little bit of weeds, what can you do um, for these particular weeds? Well, you can use products like celsius or, or revolver or tribute total or something like that that can help control uh, these weeds in your lawn from a post-emergent standpoint but again you see what i'm trying to do for my customers and uh, to deliver the results to where the yard looks clean literally 12 months out of the year hopefully just seeing the results is well and that's why i purposely did this one is spray one side of the driveway and not spray the other so that the results would ultimately speak for themselves. Appreciate Bayer sponsoring the video and uh, providing the spectacle flow. Like I said, it was something I was already using in my business and pl plan to continue to use, but it was great to, to be able to do like a, a two-sided video here where I can show one side with it and one side without, because you're not typically going to spray half the yard and not spray the other half of the yard. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Creel. If you hadn't done so, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. If you're in the lawn care business, you can go over to lawncarelife.com. There's resources available for you there, both for the mowing business and also for those in the weed control and fertilization business. Talk to you guys later. Bye.